Here's the type of excitement that you can expect with this little prototype. What's going to happen is the LED is going to flash and then you will be able to press the button and turn the light on and off. Watch this. On, off, on, off, on, off. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we're going to work with the GPIO on the Jetson. GPIO stands for General Purpose Input Output. We're going to build a little bit of a circuit here that's going to control an LED with a push button. We've been using these jumper wires in our previous video, but on this video I'm going to use hookup wire. And let me show you how to do that. Measure off a little piece here. Strip off the edge. Now you can use a pair of pliers to bend these to 90 degrees, or you just use the tip of your fingernail. Measure out how long you want it to be. Strip away the excess. And bend it over. This one's a little long, so I'll cut it off. We're going to tie the two ground planes together. The advantage of doing this method is that... Get in there, boy. It's that it sits right on top of the board and you don't have whole lot of extra wire hanging about, which is useful when you're shooting a video. The rest of the wires here I'm pre-made before getting on camera. So let's start wiring up. We're going to have our push button. Bring it into row 10 here. Press it down. I'm going to use a pull-down resistor for the switch. Retired requires a 10K resistor. So I have a strip of resistors that came from our Arduino kit. There's multiple values. Uh, the resistors are color-coded by these bands that basically tell you what the resistance is. Uh, I found it easier that just to measure them rather than try to figure it out. <laughs> So this is a 9.91K resistor, which is a 10K resistor. There's a little bit of a tolerance built into it. This one reads 217 ohms, so this is a 220 ohm resistor. So I want the 10K resistor. Turn that off. Cut one on the end. Put this aside. So I'm going to bend the legs a little bit. So there's our 10K resistor. It goes to ground. So let's wire that in.
and I have a 1K resistor which will go to the GPIO pin itself. And to power it, I'm using a 1.8 rail, 1.8 volt rail here. So that's the switch. And we're ready to wire up the, tr the LED, which requires a transistor. This is a BC547 transistor. The collector side goes to the LED. The LED, this is the cathode side. The side is a little bit ground down, a little bit flat, and the leg is a little bit shorter. The ground goes on the emitter side. On the LED, there's a 220 ohm resistor. And we'll wire that to the 5 volt rail because the LED will be driven by 5 volts from the Jetson header pin. And on the base of the transistor, we'll put a 1.5K resistor. And this will be the switch for the GPIO pin. So you can think of the transistor in this application as a switch. When it receives power from the GPIO, it will allow power to flow between the ground and the five volts. So we should be ready to hook it up to the Jetson. I've already installed the wiring on the J3 A1 and A2 headers. Give us a little bit of a head start. This is J3 A1, which is five volts, and this is the five volt side, and this is the 1.8 volt side. So we'll take this pin one, put it in to the five volt rail. The ground is J3 A1 pin eight. So that's our ground. J3A1 pin 9 is 1.8 volts. We'll put that on our 1.8 volt rail. So that's our power wiring. Now for the GPIOs, this is J3A2 pin 58, and that goes to the GPIO resistor, which is 1K from the switch. J3A2 Pin 55 goes to the GPIO for the LED. So this is an output that will control the LED and this is the input. All we have to do is put together some software here. We've booted up the machine and we're ready to install Jetson GPIO library. Go over to the Jetson Hacks GitHub repository. Copy that address. Git clone. We switch over to that directory. Build the example. And we should be good to go. 
If we run the example without permissions, it will fail. Let's try that. Permissions denied. So you have to run sudo before running the example. And it works. So we're ready to test it out. The test program will flash the LED a few times and then the button becomes active. Just like that. So when I press the button, the light goes on. When I release it, it goes off. On, off, on, off. It's like a golden god.